Hello, my name's Tress and this is Double O'Neill. I thought I'd talk to you about a small project I've been meaning to do for ages, and I mean ages. I've been picking up coaches for years, I've had many other coaches for a long time, and the biggest problem that I have with them is that there are no people inside. Looking at our locos, we add loco crew when we want to sometimes, yet we have all these ghost trains going around, and we look at realism of all these details, yet we run a loco around with no one in. And then we pull coaches. We pull coaches that have no one inside. Uh, okay, shall we add some, shall we? We add coal loads or whatever to a wagon. So let's add some people to the carriage. So this is one of my carriages. I have various ones from Mainline, Backman and Hornby. And I'd like to add some crew inside. When you look closely, the plastic on the inside of them if we take one of the ones that I have already taken apart, got one just here, um, the insides has got this kind of, I don't know what colour to call that without being nice, um, it's a colour that's off brown, it's, let's call it, let's call this a, a caramel type colour. When you go onto the coaches, when you're on the Great Western ones, I found that it's more that dark wood. I thought what we do is we'll paint this brown, we'll put a brown coat on it, see how that comes out, and we'll add that in. It's a different assembly for different carriages where the roof might come off, but this is just like how the diesels come together. You pry these apart at the points in which they catch on, you've got a little grabbing point in the middle and both ends, and it comes off nice and easy. So that's something that you can do yourself. You then get your main piece, which also kind of unslots, and we'll be painting that. The people I have are these Backman ones. They are reasonably expensive, <laughs> 15 pounds, but they've been painted. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 figures. It says here, 12 seated coach passengers in there. Also, what I have brought is, here's a by Ev model. Eve model, Ev model. And there's absolutely loads of these painted, sitting down people inside. Might have to lock the legs off at points. The, cut, the painting could be nicer, but for how much I paid, which I can't even remember, I remember it wasn't much, I bought these off eBay. And uh, yeah, I'll have to keep the packaging so I can order some more. The part number is P8711, and it's Eve model. I'll put the bit in the description below. They're slightly out of scale, but are they? They're just going to be smaller people. You're not going to notice when the train's going past, but you see heads, 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 heads on the inside. So let's get on with it. Let's give it a coat of paint, stick these in, and then we can see what it looks like with them running around the layout. With these two, I'm going to prime them with my German Red Brown Vallejo Surface Primer. I quite enjoy using these primers, they're in a small pot, easy to apply, and having the base coat being so close to what I want it to be, then we're going to go through less paint when we're trying to put the main colour on, which is nice, which means we keep detail. In this case, there's not so much detail to keep. This is a main line kit. It's very old i've had it since i was quite young and now i'm applying some color to it so i don't mind um, and like i said it's a basic molding i don't know what the modern ones are like i haven't taken these apart but when i put my main color on i'm using the mahogany color from the model air range by vallejo i have a look at the pictures on google of the various coaches and there's some of the cream color from the uh, the chocolate and cream but uh, I'm just going to stick with this mahogany, it will add a bit of darkness to it. Then I mix a kind of ready brown colour for the seat upholstery, because when you look at the upholstery it's that nice deep brown colour, and that's very nice. So that's what we're going for here. Something that's close to it, you're not going to be able to see into it, but with them painted, I think it looks quite nice. And then the first class seats, I can't remember exactly what they are in regards to colour, but I, I believe it'd be blue, So, and I think that looks nice, being in the blue colour. And again, you're not going to see super close into it unless you pick up the coach. And the people that are going to be looking at it are me. Now I'm going to stick my people in. I'm going to put a dub of glue on the bottom and stick them in. On some of these 
figures I had to chop off the feet and part of the legs so I do apologize to them for that but they're not really going to be going anywhere the background ones already come with the lower part of the body missing and there's one that looks kind of like the queen sitting in there and someone reading a book it's nice doing this actually because you're kind of a little story to each bit and you know you're thinking well would there just be three women sitting there was a girl um you know, with her father or you know all these different things and um yeah you tell yourself a story um sticking them in it's just super glue that i'm using but you could probably use a bunch of things but after some time i populated both of them and i kind of this excites me a bit having all these people some didn't stay stuck on though and they fall over so then you stick them back on but once that's done you put it together and it's actually it's looking a bit dark in there they could do with some light couldn't they so that's where i went over to tony's trains of rugby and i picked up some of these train tech by gauge master light systems and they're very nice because you don't need to connect it to the track because it's powered by a small i think it's a 2032 um battery uh, like you have in your car keys um and there's this bright light and the beauty of it is they come on when it senses movement which is wonderful and they go off after a certain amount of time which i'm very happy with and to hold them in i just use my black tack that i use for when i do some of my dcc wiring and yeah keeps it simple if i need to i can get them out at a later stage i did wonder if i can just drop these in over the top you know the installation so simple but actually, I do need to trim off a chunk of the top to give it clearance to have everything in place. And also, between the cabs, I learned that I need to snip off more where the lights aren't. So then that light projects across to light up that part of the cab. So some bits are lower than others where it was needed. With them fitted, you can see some light. And yeah, it looks great my loft isn't going to often be this dark whilst these are on but when they're on the layout in the darker areas you can spot it here it looks very bright because i've played with my camera settings but this excites me you can see that there are figures inside and there's some light and it adds a bit more to your model if you wish it to be like that so what we do is a running session for you to enjoy i'm very pleased with these i'm really pleased i started the project and my old coaches which i've had for a very long part of my life I've had kind of a bit of revamp. These mainline coaches look great already. And to add people to the inside and lights, yes, will add some cost, but it adds a lot of enjoyment too, on my part anyway. These are your models. You enjoy them how you like. So let's watch a few more shots of this and I'll come back to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I always enjoy tinkering, playing with these ideas and sharing with you. So if you did enjoy it, hit the like button, hit subscribe, even comment, let me know what you thought of it. If you've done this already, where you found maybe some other models, please leave a link if you did that we can add in. I do have some diecast models that I'd like to try at some point and that would add a bit of weight to the coach, which might be helpful. Anyway, if you aren't already um, a subscriber, like I said, please hit subscribe. A big thank you to my patrons and channel members. Your support is greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to support me, click on the links below and I'll see you next time. 
Take care. Bye-bye.